Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, we are back, and it's time again to take up another champion. So this one is going to be a six star to rank four. And we've got four different candidates for you, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the candidates, and then we will see who I selected. All right, so first candidate is going to be Hitmonkey. Now, Hitmonkey is a ton of fun, and he does play very nicely with the recoil masteries. He hits much, much harder with them, and if you can do, I think it's a medium light, medium, medium, he'll get rid of uh, his debuffs. So the poison and the bleed, gone. So he is definitely, definitely a champion that I want at rank four. He's also not in the current seven-star pool. So he is definitely a candidate right now, okay? The next one, let's see, is going to be Warlock. So Warlock, I haven't really been using Warlock a lot. Um, but I still like him. If you guys remember... Um, I loved his animations and everything. I remember him from way back in the day uh, when I used to read comics. I remember seeing him there. Uh, and he's got great utility. And he is annoying, surprisingly annoying, to fight in uh, Battlegrounds, at least for me, because I have willpower and all of that. And so I tend to get d a lot, you know. But he's still good. He's still a good champion. So he is also worthy of a rank four. All right. The next one is going to be Nimgod. So Nimgod definitely, definitely, definitely deserves a rank four. And I'm currently working on him to get him to SIG 200. Because he benefits from it a lot. So I want him up there at SIG 200 for sure. And I also want him at rank four. Okay. And the last candidate is going to be Web Slinger. Spider-Man 2099. Four times. Okay. That's just a little inside joke. Uh, when I was opening up crystals featured which I don't normally do, uh, Hercules was in the pool. And I wanted Hercules so bad, and I didn't want to grind for him, that I started opening up a ton of featured. And I did not pull Hercules, but instead, I pulled this guy four times out of all of those uh, openings. And I was just incredulous, because he's a great champion, and I love him. And for a while, he was the best boss killer, but he was too good. So they had to take care of that. But he's still great. And I like him, and I want him at rank four as well. Okay. Um, I just didn't want to get him four different times. Uh, but I think he's already at SIG 200 right now. All right. So anyway, those are the four candidates. If you think you can guess which one I just took to rank four, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think I took up. But we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Warlock! All right, so let me tell you why I chose Warlock out of those four, because they're all worthy of rank four, and I will be taking them to rank four at some point in time. But one of the primary reasons is that this season coming up in Alliance War, he is going to be really good for that. They are banning Nimgod like crazy, okay? But they can't ban everybody. So I've got Nimgod. I've got Warlock. And so somebody's going to be able to get used. Warlock is really good. 
I used him a, a little bit, and this meta, uh, he does do pretty well uh, in this meta, but so does Nimrod. And there's a couple of others that, that do very well in this uh, meta that they have been um, banning, like Ghost. They banned Ghost. Uh, in this last uh, off-season war that we were fighting, Ghost was banned, Nimrod was banned, and uh, I forgot who else they banned. Um, but that is um, just the way things go. And so it looks like Warlock is going to be coming back to war. I used to use him all the time in Alliance War. A lot of you guys might remember that. And I, you know, just because of the meta change, the nodes and everything, he just wasn't as useful. But he's about to get useful once again. And I wanted to take him up to rank four a long time ago. If they had not changed the Alliance War nodes as they did, he would have gone to rank four way before this. So this is the perfect time to take him to rank four. And uh, even if they ban him, okay. I didn't even take him in to this war that we're, we're um, fighting right now, the off-season war. I didn't even take him into it, uh, this war. So he's not going to be used every single war. But I like to have him there. I'll take some of the other ones up uh, later. And uh, <laughs> fun fact for you guys that remember when Warlock first came in, I nearly had a choking fit when I first saw his animations. When I first saw him run in, I couldn't even fight. I started, um, I had allergies and um, I wasn't taking my allergy medication at the time. And so I was already coughing. And then when I saw him coming in like that, oh my goodness, I started coughing. I, I couldn't even fight. So I love his animations and he is a great champion. All right, we'll, we'll, um, we got a little bit of time left, and so we're going to go into Realm of Legends. He's not the greatest damage dealer, but we'll go into Realm of Legends, and uh, I think I'll fight uh, Wolverine with him. I think that'll be the better one to uh, fight with him, because uh, he really, I mean, he can fight Winter Soldier, but you can't really see a whole lot of his uh, usefulness there. All right, so... In a minute, we'll be back, and you'll see him fighting Wolverine. Okay, so I fought my way to Wolverine. Uh, I used this team here. None of them have a synergy. These were, you know, you see Kitty Pride has a synergy with um, Ghost and Tigra. And there's also a synergy uh, with Wolverine, with Kitty. Um, but none of them have a synergy with Warlock. So he's basically by himself. So let's go in here and uh, do a little fight. And by now, most people already understand how he works. But basically, he's going to get these infections up like that at 20. We're not going to have any healing from Wolverine. As you can see, he does not put out a ton of damage, even at rank four. But that utility that he has. And I can do that. Give him a bleed. Did you see how much damage it crit for like 33? Very nice. And no healing for you, Mr. Wolverine. It's also uh, draining his power. Let's get a little... Uh, oh, whoa. It dashed back. I didn't mean to dash back. Didn't tell it to dash back, but it dashed back anyway. I wanted to... Uh, show you that he had a little shock on his special one, but I'm pretty sure you guys know it. So the fight did not take that long, mainly because he shut down the healing. Um, but he has a lot of utility. Very, very good. Um, one minute, uh, and it went pretty smoothly. 
he can uh, power drain. He puts a shock. He has an armor up. So he's good for fighting people like Havoc. Um, in the uh, current meta that I was talking about, um, because he has that armor up, he also can uh, drain, power drain. So he already power drains, and he gets an additional function because of the uh, Alliance War meta that's going on right now. So he's a really good option uh, for an attacker, depending on who you're fighting. Okay, uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Take care. Hit the like button. It helps me out. It really does. Um, YouTube doesn't seem to like to put my videos out there. So the more likes I get, the more it gets out there. And don't forget to share my videos with others. Word of mouth is how I got where I'm at. Okay. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.